Okay, in this free mini course, I'll show you how to host multiple websites on one droplet. No need to pay for extra servers. By the end, you'll have everything running on a single self-managed setup, saving you money and giving you full control. Whether you're new to this or already know the basics, I've got you covered. We're using DigitalOcean and I'll even share a $100 coupon in the description to test it out free for three months. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. We need four things to start your self-managed hosting setup. First, you need a VPS machine. There are lots of options out there, but for this mini course, I'll be using DigitalOcean. I've personally hosted three to four websites on DigitalOcean, and I find it to be the best. Plus, there's a $100 coupon in the description, so you can try it out for free for three months. Second, you need a domain name. That's just the simple name of your website. Third, you'll need a free SSH client to connect and configure your VPS. And finally, you need web hosting software to manage everything. In this mini course, you'll learn how to host your first WordPress website, adding a second website to the same server, and even host PHP scripts from Code Canyon, all on a $10 VPS. You don't need to spend hundreds. First, let's get our VPS machine. To create one, head over to DigitalOcean by clicking the link in the description. You'll get a $100 coupon to use for testing. Once you're on the page, just sign up or sign in with Google. This is what the DigitalOcean dashboard looks like. To create your VPS, click Create, then select Droplet. For the operating system, I'm going with Ubuntu. Next, choose the $10 machine, which is more than enough to host multiple websites. Now scroll down to select your data center and set up your root password. Be sure to save it somewhere safe. Lastly, give your machine a name. I'm calling mine Journey Signals. Then hit Create Droplet. It'll take about one to two minutes to set up. And just like that, your VPS machine is ready. Now you officially have your own server. Let's move on to the next step. We can't access our website directly with just the IP address, so next we'll link a domain name to that IP. This way you can access your site by name instead of using the IP address. There are many domain providers available, but for this mini course I'll use GoDaddy and one of my domains. Simply log in to GoDaddy, select your domain, I'm using Journey Signals, and click the three dots, then choose Manage DNS. Now, we need to update the A record. Copy the IP address from your VPS, then in GoDaddy, click Edit next to the A record and paste your IP. Once done, hit Save. It may take two to three minutes, sometimes up to an hour, for the name to update, so don't panic if it doesn't work right away. To test if it's working, head to ping.eu, enter your domain name, and check if it points to the correct IP. Once that's confirmed, your domain is linked, and you can and now access your website by name. Now, let's move on to system configuration. We'll use a free SSH client called Putty for this. You can download it from the web, and I've also provided a link in the description. Once you've downloaded and installed Putty, follow these simple steps. Open Putty on your system. Copy and paste your IP address or enter your domain name. Make sure the connection type is set to SSH. Then click Open. A pop-up window will appear. Just click Accept. Now log in as root and enter the root password we created earlier. Keep in mind, the password won't be visible for security reasons, so just type it and hit Enter. Once that's done, we're inside our VPS. To tidy things up, type clear to clean the window and we're ready to move on. Now, let's move on to setting up the web management software. We'll be using Webmin, which will help us manage everything on our server. Why Webmin? It's effective, simple, user-friendly, and free. Here's how to get it installed. Go to webmin.com slash download and copy the first installation code. Open Pudi and right-click to paste the code. Head back to Webmin, copy the installation command, and paste it into Pudi the same way. When prompted, type Y and hit Enter. In less than five minutes, Webmin will be installed on your server. To access the interface, open your browser and type your domain colon 10000. Log in using root as the username and the root password you created earlier. Perfect! Now. 
Let's quickly complete the post installation wizard. Click next repeatedly until you reach the SQL password step. Set your SQL password, then click next. Choose huge system and click next. Select skip and click next. Set the password storage mode to hashed password and click next. Choose let's encrypt certificate and click next. It will take three to four minutes for everything to be set up. Once done, click next, then recheck and refresh configuration. If everything looks perfect, return to the virtual server list. Now, your setup is complete and you're ready to manage your websites with WebMean. Now, let's access your website using your domain name. You'll see a website under construction message powered by Virtual Min. Next, let's install WordPress. Go back to WebMin, navigate to install scripts and select WordPress. Scroll down and click show install option. So we need to enable the MySQL database click return to virtual server details enable mysql database and click save once done go back to install scripts and choose wordpress again click install now this will start the installation process which takes two to four minutes once the installation is complete you'll be directed to the login page select english as your language give your site a name and set a password enter your email address and click install wordpress now click login and use the username and password you just created to access your site's dashboard now log in using your domain name you might notice that the site shows not secure, which means there's no SSL certificate installed yet. To fix this, go back to Virtual Min, navigate to Server Configuration and scroll down to select SSL certificate. Click on Let's Encrypt. Choose the domain name listed, paste your domain if needed, and click Request Certificate. This will generate and install the SSL certificate. Now refresh your website and you should see it secured with SSL. To access your admin dashboard, type your domain name.com slash WP admin. Enter your username and password, and you're in. Your first website is now ready and fully hosted. Before we jump into hosting our second website, let's take a quick moment to understand the difference between Webmin and Virtual Min because it'll help you see why they're both so useful. Webmin is like a general purpose control panel for managing your server. It's web-based, which means you can access it through a browser and manage almost every aspect of your server. Things like creating user accounts, setting file permissions, configuring firewalls, installing software, and even tweaking network settings. Virtual Min is kind of like an extension of Webmin, but it's built specifically for web hosting management. If you're hosting multiple websites on a single server, Virtual Min is what makes that process super easy. Virtual Min simplifies things by giving you tools tailored for web hosting. You can create and manage virtual servers, basically websites, on your VPS. It helps you manage databases like SQL, install popular scripts like Word, WordPress in just a few clicks and handle other things like DNS, email, and FTP for your websites. Simply, Webmin is your general server manager, while Virtualmin is the add-on that makes managing multiple websites and domains on your server a breeze. All right, now it's time to host our second website on the same server. First, log into VirtualMin and head over to Create Virtual Server. Now enter the domain name for your second site, set up your admin password, and click on Create Virtual Server. It's done. Now that the virtual server is ready, we need to point the domain to the server. Go to DigitalOcean and copy your VPS's IP address. Then head over to your domain provider, select Manage DNS. You'll need to edit the A record. Paste in the IP address, save it, and that's all. Your domain is updated. You can double check everything by heading to ping.eu and testing the domain. If you see the correct IP, you're good to go. Back to Virtual Min. Click on Return to Virtual Server List and you'll now see both websites hosted on the same server. You can easily switch between them to manage their settings. 
Let's get WordPress installed for this second site. In Virtual Min, go to Install Script, select WordPress, then hit Show Install Options, and finally, Install Now. In just a few minutes, WordPress will be set up and ready for you to configure. Follow the same steps as we did with the first website. Set your language, site name, admin password, and email, and there you have it. In just a few simple steps, you've hosted your second website all on one server. All right, let's move on to the final tutorial, hosting PHP files on the same server. In this case, I'll be using a PHP script I purchased from Code Canyon. Create a virtual server first, go to Virtual Min and create a new virtual server. In this example, I'll be using the domain Web Audit. Just like we did before, assign your domain name and admin password and point the domain to your server's IP. Now, upload PHP script. Once your server is set up, choose the specific virtual server. To install the PHP script, head over to the File Manager. This will redirect you to the public HTML directory. Here, we'll need to upload the PHP script. Click on File and select Upload to Current Directory. Choose the PHP script you purchased from Code Canyon and upload it as a zip file to the public HTML folder. Once the file is uploaded, go ahead and extract the content. Contents. Now move files to public folder. After extraction, open the uploaded folder and select all the files. Move them into the public HTML directory. Once that's done, delete the original zip file to keep things tidy. Install the script now, go to your browser and type in your domain. It will take you to the installation panel for the PHP script. Usually, when you buy a script from Code Canyon, you'll receive documentation with detailed installation instructions. In my case, everything is good, so click continue. Now you'll need to fill in your database connection details. To do this, go back to Virtual Min and choose Edit Databases. Copy paste all the data from database. The database host is localhost. The database name is Web Audit. The database username is also Web Audit. Copy the password you created for the database and paste it into the installation panel. Finally, enter your purchase code for the script and click Submit. Now set up your admin ID and password, and that's it! The installation is complete, and now you can access your third website hosted on the same server. And there you have it. You've successfully hosted not just one, but three websites on a single VPS server, all managed through Virtual Mint, making the entire process smooth and efficient. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you'll be the first to know when I drop more tutorials like this one. Keep building, keep Keep learning and I'll see you in the next video.